Who is it again? Is it Mars? I think so. Mars, second battle, Lake Verity. Golbat level 37, air cutter bite, toxic supersonic. Bronzer with the gyro ball, extrasensory confuse ray. Iron defense, perigly with slash fate attack, hypnosis fake out. Thick fat, too, by the way. All right, all right, all right. Let's kick these people out. The lake. Hmm. What about the lake? Oh, I said for the lake. Okay, let's get another level in evolution, so then she can sit in the box for a while. Oh yeah, these are all doubles. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, did you want to put, uh... Well, not yet, actually, I lied. Hmm? Put what? The big root? Well, I've got but the amulet coin for now. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, but why do that? Oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, why? Come on! This is worse than the freaking guy who has. Actually, no, this isn't worse than the guy in uh, Johto that has literal Magikarp. But at least but Magikarp is... is a meme. Uh, Silken literally only has Tackle and Harden! Come on, game! Actually, make yourself difficult for once! Oh, oh, you were wrong! You were so wrong! It's got Poison Sting, too! I'm sorry! Seriously! They make this entire game so freaking easy until you get to the champion. No wonder people got curb stomped by Cynthia. I think Spear Pillar is kinda difficult. I mean, Cyrus is kinda tough compared to all the other trainers you fight before him. The so double I'll is give also you that. kinda tough. Okay, yeah, I forgot about the double battle. Yes, that is a very hard double battle. But if you can get rid of the Munchlax, your partner's actually somewhat more competent. But yes, every other fight other than, like, all the gym leaders are pretty darn easy. The Elite Four can be kind of tough, uh, depending on um, what Pokemon you have. If you're not expecting it, it can be kind of tough, especially Lucian. Um, but if you have a good water type, a good flying type, I guess you can do well, minus maybe the Drapion might scare you. Lucian doesn't have a Drapion. Aran does. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Aran with the Drapion might scare you, because it's not weak to flying. Uh, so it might be able to do something if it had, has Thunderfang. Um, oh no, you're gonna flinch me. What am I gonna do? Losing was part of my job, too. <laughs> His job wow. is just a small for time, don't you know? Where do I get a job like that, where my, my entire job is to fail? That seems super it's, easy. It's just called stalling for time. Look, and now you're going back to heal. Well, yeah, I've got a poisoned mon, so I have to. All I can say is I have a... Uh, 
I mean, what did it do? Like, 3 HP of damage, not counting poison? With poison sting? I don't keep a poison mod on my team. It annoys me. No, I know. I know. But I'm just saying, like, the Silcoon did such pitiful damage. Not counting the poison. All right, all right. Um, sit in the corner, not the shame corner, just the corner of the good boys and good girls. You better give him a done friend. Their homework. You better give him a friend. Ah, uh, soon enough. Soon enough. The baby corner. <laughs> I like that definition. Alright, let's let's have Roger do some work. Does the egg have the virus yet? So does that mean yep. Roger's gonna do his homework? Oh the egg has a virus? Yep. Oh no Well oh. it was kinda inevitable. There's That's kinda sad that though. That the egg has pokerus, which means it has less time that it has pokerus for when it hatches. No, all you have to do is put it in the box. And besides, the the effects of the virus are still active, even after it expires. It's just that when the Pokemon heals from it, it can no longer pass it on. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought once it healed from Pokerus, it no longer applied. No. No, the only That's... difference is whether or not it can be contagious. That's something I didn't know. I... You, you taught me something new. Thank you. Congratulations. You're teaching me stuff again. Oh my god, I have... Yes. Nice one shot. Something, something, like it 10,000. Yeah, I wanted to say that, but then I thought, that's just for Versil and crew, I don't want to steal the Thunder. I mean, it oh, wasn't on I also, screen. I also just noticed I missed the message, but Versil said, no tank for speed. I honestly want to see that in Unite too. I would love to see a mill tank. I like mill tank. I have a soft spot for them after using one. I have never found a mill tank in a run, I don't believe. I've gotten a mill tank in uh what what was it again? Uh Dreano's Platinum game. I can't yeah, remember the Renegade cow. Platinum. I remember yeah. that one. Oh, I used Cow. Her her name was originally Whitney and I just I trained her and used her more because I just I just didn't have another Pokemon, and I just wanted more Pokemon to use uh, more than anything. I think she was Jolly Nature or something. I'm like, oh, it's got good nature. Might as well. Um, and then I I was playing it semi-blind, and I got into a, a battle against a rival upon entering uh, Celestic Town. A uh, rival battle with uh, Lucas. And I wasn't expecting that because that doesn't happen in vanilla. And I'm like, oh shit, oh fuck. Um, and a lot of my team was very low HP because he had a Mammoth Swine, I believe. And he sent out Alakazam. I'm just like, what the fuck do I do against an Alakazam? This thing, I looked it up afterwards. I'm like, this thing has very, very good coverage. I don't think it had Focus Blast at that level, though. So I'm like... Okay, it doesn't have a fighting move. All my Pokemon are weak to every other move it has, and all my Pokemon either can't outspeed it or can't one-shot it, or are too low of HP. So I sent out Miltank. He was able to somehow outspeed it, uh, and was able to two-shot it. And I was, and from that point onward, I was very proud of my mill tank and she was an all-star on that team 
she made me so proud in that one fight, and it just gave me all the respect for Miltank. It went from a Pokemon that was like, oh, okay, you know, I'll try it, I've never used it before, I want to give it a try and just see how well it can do, to something that I highly respect and want to use more, and have used more. I kind of wanted to try a Miltank, but every time oh. I've run like Gold Silver Crystal or Hard Gold Soul Silver, I only got Taurus at best from the routes where Miltank was also available. It's it's very good. It's got solid fucking stats. Yeah, I imagine that. It's and by the way, that was unboosted Miltank. There was no changes to its stat uh be base that total in that Drayano hack, so. Well, mail tanks are already pretty good. I don't think it needs a boost to function. Oh! Oh, it doesn't need a boost to function. I'm just saying it was unboosted just to... so people know. Got 95 HP, 80 attack, 105 defense, 70 special defense, and 100 speed. And 40 special attack, but no one runs special melting. <laughs> Who would use a special melting? That's pretty good defensive stats and a really high speed. You don't need a, a high attack stat because I believe they learned curse. They get play rough. High horsepower, they get body press. Oh, body body press is really good with their defense. Oh, it is so good. I think mine in Sword and Shield that I got from a raid has um, body slam, play rough, high horsepower, body press. She's very good. Oh yes, they can learn Curse from Torkoal. So if you want to lower your speed, you can actually raise your attack. Ha. You wish, bitch. Percent chance to miss. This is hypnosis. Can you check for me what Miss Reavers learns by level up? Because I think soon we might get access to Dusk Stones. Dusk Stone is a uh, Veil Stone. Yep. Okay, so we're going to Mount Corona first. Yeah, you're going to Snow Point first before you get access to Dusk Stone. It's kind of stupid how late these guys evolve. Or at least how late Dusk Stone is. Um, uh, set wise you pretty much learned everything that you could. Uh, apparently they get Power Gem at level 50, but that's Platinum only. The only moves you're missing are going to be Parish Song and Grudge. Well, I don't really need those, do I? No. 
sadly no power gem in this game, so... Oh, I'm not bothered. I've got a good moveset already. Alright, what's the quickest way? I think from Celestic. I think so too. Uh, what HMs am I gonna need? Strength Surf if you want the items over there. Defog if you care about uh, defogging the, the area below. Um, Rock Smash. And I think that's all. Because you don't have Rock uh, Climb that's yet. That's like all of them. The only ones that you need are going to be uh, Rock Smash and Strength. You don't need Surf or Defog. Those are if you want to explore the water area. Alright, let's see if I can at least manage to get a catch today. Ooh, mind. Where's Calm Mind in this game? Oh, I haven't actually beaten these people. This is... we've already been here, haven't we? Yes. Yeah, Route 211 from the other side. Ah, uh, it's Battle Tower only. Darn it. What is? Calm Mind. Yep, I remember that. This may, uh, this may just learns... Aerial Ace? What? Oh, you can get access to Energy Ball, too. Yeah, Aerial Ace. I'm looking at their moveset, and the weirdest move on here is exactly that. I mean, they huh. can fly, I guess, but... Why? Well, I've got all my HMs, might as well get the items too. Rare candy. Underwhelming. I mean, rare candy kinda nice to throw all of them in the Elite Four at one Pokemon. It doesn't really help that much. There's still a ton of grinding to do. No, I mean when you're literally in the Elite Four. And levels don't matter anymore. You can just throw all your rare candies at one Pokemon and just go. <laughs> uh, rare candies are not allowed for that purpose, though. The levels, really? Yeah, the levels have to be up to the champ when uh, you first enter the Elite Four. And from there, the levels you gain naturally are good, but no rare candies. That kind of defeats the purpose of having a level limit. I mean, I've never done that myself personally, I will say. I've always just ignored my rare candies and just never really used them. Because I prefer to level grind and gain EVs from the Pokemon I defeat. Um, but... Uh, is there anything interesting over there? Uh, maybe next time. Okay. Fire repel. And leg in front.
What a surprise. Can't say I expected that. It'll help if I actually have my uh, phone out to tell you names. Well, you got about 15 seconds to think of one if you don't. Oh no, I have it. I just need to find it. Well, wow, I really soon. have no names for this thing. Well, it seems that you've got a bit more time than I anticipated. No way. Well, no way is certainly descriptive. No, Cruz says said no way. Yes, I know. I just said it's certainly descriptive. Do I have anything else that can help? Uh, no. Alright, got it. So, I still don't know fully what to name it, but just name it Thanks. Thanks? The whole Thanks Obama meme. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go check out Thanks. And then we'll be in our merry way. Can't wait till we get for the better name. Can't wait till we get to the better names or the stupid names that I have. Okay, so impish, impetus, and silly. And of so, course, no warning. I guess this is just Elsa's left arm, or right arm, or wingman, or whichever your pick. Yeah, it's it's just Olaf partially melted. Yeah, for now she is going in the reserves box. And my trainer have no real experience with the Bomber Snow before, and I'm pretty adventurous when it comes to making teams. So yeah, that will be it for today. Uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you Thursday for Sirion's Health. Till then, goodbye.